Well, hello and welcome to Material Mondays today. So glad that you could join me. Um, I'm going to show you a few things in this week's episode. This is last week's what I've finished. I am so pleased. And I've been working, um, I started last week working on what was, um, I guess, I'm calling it a meditation, a prayer cloth. Um, it will eventually be a wall hanging and I'm still deciding whether to, well, I'm not making the decision yet as to whether I add beading or things like that. And very often in your pieces, you know, you, well, d depends on how you plan your work. I allow my work to be uh, more intuitive and so at this particular stage, I'm not sure what direction it's going to take once I've finished these stitches. Now the stitches, which I will show you, but I'll just give you a quick view of the piece folding up, fo unfolded. So I've been working on it and I'll go into some of that. Um, and this particular fabric has been wax resisted and dyed and it's quite a heavy cotton and um, it's been very meditative uh, a very meditative piece to work on you know we're dealing with many things that are going on around the world and I was recently part of the International um, Art Inn it was organized by Tanya Ahmed and Wendy of Willow Wonders and um, over 200 artists came together, creatives, and we just spent time making together. And many read either a poem or, you know, um, you know, read passages, which was, it was a very peaceful time. And us coming together and just really focusing on being unified and peace around the world because there's so much happening. So as I'm stitching this, I'm meditating, praying, and just allowing that, it's that regular kind of, you know, the, and other people have said it as well, you know, when they stitch, it's such a soothing ac action. And then you have to be mindful, you have to be focused, and you're focusing on, you know, getting, the stitches just right or getting the needle into the cloth just right. So I'm going to be showing you some other things that I've been moving forward alongside and um, we'll talk about some other ways in which you can, you know, if you don't want to or are not able to work on such a large piece, how working on smaller pieces will also be a benefit. So let's get to the table and we'll look at this more closely okay so before we start this one of the first things i was thinking about um uh, i've been watching this documentary about all of the fabric waste and fast fashion and um this was um a pair of shorts that i had but i really like the fabric so it was to maybe encourage you to maybe think about some of the fabrics that you might have or even if it's items of clothing that you might have that you can cut up into smaller squares and you can do things like save the buttons and if you've got elements like this um, like a little clasp you can then put this into another project and use it in some way and I think there's two on this particular shorts but cutting up sort of like these are you know whatever size you can cut up that will be manageable for you and these can be additions in projects and let me see if I've got um, so I've just got some scraps here so you can take smaller pieces of fabric and layer them and then create a piece that you can then go on and stitch so let's for instant take this piece 
it's not going to be straight as sh totally straight um, but let's just cut this and yeah sometimes you just need to have moments where you can just work on something small and this is one of the, th the things that I would do so I'm just I could have used the rotary cutter but we'll just cut this bit off and I've just got a bag of these are really small scraps and sometimes it's these small scraps that will make so much of a difference and I'm not thinking about you know well, what colors are going to be working with what it's literally just to take bits of fabric and layer them and then see what you can do with it and it's as I say it's not about um, what colors go with what it's just about the act of doing some stitching on a piece and just that mindful action that I can take something as small as this should I come in um, you know the fabric is not going to go to waste it wasn't something that I could have like given it away to somebody else to wear it was just like it's had its moment so um, but I can make some smaller pieces that will be really nice to stitch and so that's what I would do I would so cutting these smaller pieces up adding some pins to keep them in place and then when you've got a moment when you know if I want to take a break from working on the bigger piece I can come to one of these small pieces and just do some straight stitching yeah so that's something we'll work on at the end and we'll just spend say 10 minutes and we'll just do some simple stitching so I want you to find something small like this and I just want you to take 10 minutes and we're just going to do some straight stitching on here okay so that's a nice ending for the activity and we'll just let our thoughts you know use it as a, a time for reflecting and creating peace in your surroundings okay so let's look at the other pieces the other thing I found was this it's a black piece of cloth I think it was like a um, like it was supposed to be like a mini tablecloth and I found it in the um, it's cotton and polyester mix but I found it in the dollar store and it's been washed but it is a bit grey <laughs> it's supposed to be black so the colours washed out but again as a stitching cloth as a you know meditation cloth whatever you want to call it prayer cloth stitched prayer cloth um, this is a nice size and it's um, it's quite a thin material but you can you know manipulate it like that or you can use a ring I was just thinking you know should there be you know the ring should there be a square version but um so that was that I've been working on as I say some smaller pieces and these were the ones we need to come in now so you can see oh, and then you can see this as well let's do this first so I uh, was doing the Zen stitching um, online course and one of the sessions was um, botanical dyes and I had the pea flower I thought it was just here yeah 
I thought it was going to dry flat so that it could be used in a book. But anyway, I've got the, um, this is Flower from the Pride of Barbados. And then we had the pea flower. And then I took the leaves from the Pride of Barbados. And you can see some still stuck here. So, just take these off. So what these are is I'd placed, um, this was the one I was printing and this was the one that was placed. So I'm pounding with the hammer and the leaves stuck to this side. So that's why you can still see the leaves here, like so. And then underneath it, I had placed a card. So I've I've got three prints. This was just, you know, a random card. But if I had a plain card, I could um, make a, you know, make a gre greetings card or stitched card. So for next time, I'll know to put like, a you know, either watercolour paper or something underneath. Okay, so you would heat set this um, and uh, then you could give it like a gentle wash. But it was nice to be able to transfer the colour from the, the leaves and the flower, that's the pea flower. You don't get um, a sharp kind of image. And maybe I need to experiment with uh, different fabrics. But yeah, so you can get, you know, you can get some nice, this one turned out nice with the leaves. And you still see quite a lot of the plant material in there. So that's another thing that I decided to do. Um, and I'm becoming more and more fabric, fabricized, <laughs> no, not fabricized, in terms of drawn to the fabric and working on it. Okay, so that was that. We'll put that there, put that over there. And so let me show you these two. So I was working on these two. And this was the same fabric that I used for last week's uh, wall hanging. And then I had some painted cami leather, and this was another bit of painted fabric. It it um, and uh, I've used inks on there. And then this is in terms of texture. So this is cardboard actually, and I had placed um, the bristles of a brush and covered it and I wanted to see what the texture would be like and I really do like the texture and I will let you see see if you can get a glimpse and what I've then done is gone over it with um, like a metallic rub on but I really like the texture and the idea of combining different materials is something that really interests me and seeing what kind of textures you can then create from what you do. And this one, I had just dyed this fabric and I brought some different, other different types of fabrics together. So I've, um, this one has been dyed using um, avocado seed. We've got some painted fabric here and here. And this one that's hiding underneath had some words and stuff written on and just some uh, paint splatters. So I've just done some, it's the same stitch and I've just done it in different ways and using different threads. And I've got this, I've had this for years and it was just like, you need to start using it because it's like never ending, but I find it quite delicate. So you have to be careful um, threading it. and maybe um, it was obviously used in terms of uh, with a sewing machine maybe an industrial sewing machine but um, I got this cheap at a thrift store so that was good but um, yeah it's making these small pieces 
that you can actually finish and feel that sense of completion but I've also got the bigger one which I can work on and then the other thing that I was doing was back to this you would have seen this so this was the um, several different projects from making Zen and I've worked on this a bit more so last week this bottom bit hadn't been stitched so I've made some pockets and somebody actually had commented and said you know about oh it could make some pockets out of that and um, funnily enough that's what I was intending to do so I've stitched this on and stitched the edges so we've got these pockets here and I might even add something on here I can still stitch on this and then I've done the same at the back but the last uh, page what I've done is just use it to house some of the needles and then I've added to the page I've done some more work on each of the ones so this one was a folk art uh, image and so I'm just taking my time it's nice to be able to work through um, a piece so I'm just taking my time in there that's the back I think that's is that the only one that I worked on this week. I worked on here. I stitched up the edge. So now this is my permission slips. So those were the those were the only things that I did. I created the pockets here so I can put things in there. It's my crochet needle. But um but yeah, so I liked the um, way that this is now presenting itself and obviously I can still add to it, add some stitches to it um, and finish off some of the projects because there's still some projects that I've yet to do and to complete. Okay, so let's look at the main event. Right, so for this one, as I say, when we were doing the art in and we may be doing another one so if you uh, make sure you sign up to my mailing list I'll leave the link in my profile so that you'll be alerted to the next the next one okay so this is where I've got so far I've put these dowels on there just for ease of you know keeping it neat and I've been adding to it so when we did the art in this is what I was working on and I was just praying as I went along and um, it was a very it's a very soothing piece um, the whole thing about this piece actually is soothing even down to the imagery that is on the fabric itself and the the way in which you have to the way in which I've had to work on it so for instance when I first started out I got the fabric and I started working with the wax so that in itself was a very soothing activity dipping my brush into the wax and then creating the pattern and um, and then the allowing it to dry and then the dyeing process allowing that to dry and then having to iron out well using a heat to get rid of the wax and it's not perfect because there's still areas where there's you can see a bit of wax but I like the imperfection so and when you hold it up to the light if there's a light behind it you can see through where the wax is so I've been using crochet thread 
um, single, I haven't been doubling it up. And then on the back what I've been doing is not knot knotting it, I've been threading, going back with the thread in the rows. So I've still got some to do. And this is almost like, you know, when we think about connection. So each line is connected. How we think about um, us, the human race, and how we're all connected, and how we all need each other. And so this piece just, just even in this activity, and I, what I would use is my crochet needle and then just thread it through. And even that is a meditative action. Because you have to take your time. And that's how I've been doing the back. Okay, and then I just thread it to the end. Okay, so what I do want to work on is that smaller piece, and we'll see how we get on with that. And yeah, I just want you to take something small, um, take a f we'll take a few pieces of fabric and cut them up, and then layer them, just like I did with this one. on. Okay, so just like I did with this one, I'm going to use my embroidery thread, <laughs> crochet thread. So I've just taken a length and we're just going to spend say 10 minutes and I'll also show you this one being made as well. So I've still got stuff to do with this and uh, but I'll show you this one being made as well. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so we've finished for now. Um, I might even add this to another piece of fabric and continue stitching and maybe do some different directions. But you see how simple it is from just a 
fabric from an old piece of clothing cut up and then using some of the thin strips that have been cut from other fabrics that I've used and then even this bit the recently added um, botanical print and just changing up the colour so this was for me this was a nice meditative piece and it's nice to have as I say it's nice to have um, a choice that when I want to spend a bit longer on this piece then I can do that but if I just want to you know have a piece a block that I can create and use up some scraps and still get that uh, kind of peaceful feeling that you get when you stitch then one of these smaller pieces um, can be really helpful. So I hope that that has been useful today, the way in which you can sew smaller pieces. I'm still working on this piece and um, I'll be doing some more later on and I'm just taking my time and uh, I do say maybe a few two or three lines every day or a few times a day and as I say I just take my time but then I can work on these smaller pieces and uh, I've also got some more stitching to do in this so it's quite a few little projects going on but as I say this is a, uh, the main project that will take I would say you know maybe a few weeks to get done but I'm not rushing but in the meantime as I show you this progress I'll show you some other smaller ones that I do along the way so take care for now and I hope that you have a blessed time as you decide what you want to work on and to remember that this is a very meditative activity if you need uh, it calms the soul it soothes the mind and it allows you to just reflect or just use it as a time where you can be quietly praying and just reflecting on your life and just sending out prayers healing prayers prayers of peace around the world take care for now